going to take you right back here to Denver. Just days before students in Denver Public Schools return to the classrooms, the district released a new discipline plan. A shooting caused by a student inside East High School led to more discussions about discipline. This new plan gives guidance on when students can be suspended or expelled. It's also designed to make implementation of discipline easier and more equitable for all students. Describes more specific infractions and what those punishments will be and what's allowed. Your reporter in Denver, Jasmine Arenas, joins us live tonight at DPS headquarters. And Jasmine, what are we starting to learn and hear now from the parents and people in those communities? Well, they're feeling a mix of emotions, Karen, after receiving this discipline matrix. Inside this discipline matrix, you can see that it details level one to level seven offenses. Level one can be anything like a physical prank. Level seven could be something as serious as bringing a gun to school. And the district sent out these special versions to guardians and families hoping to make it a bit easier for them to understand. But some are so confused and others concerned. The matrix is a document meant to help make sure that we know how to classify behaviors and what the appropriate legal protocols are to address those behaviors. Concerns on the matrix began after a shooting spring 2023 at East High School. The 17 year old gunman who brought a gun on campus had been expelled from another school district. In this new matrix, bringing a firearm to school is a level seven offense. The real meat of this work is going to be in ensuring that the that the schools have the resources to do what they need, that we have the parent and community support. However, the document is not clear if students who commit the most serious offenses, like bringing a gun to school, will eventually face expulsion. Moria Coogan, president of the Union of Denver's principal, says it's ultimately the result. The five-day suspension on the matrix is the start of the process. If a student brings a handgun to a school, they are suspended automatically for five days, and then that is extended as we go into the expulsion review. DPS parent and community leader Vernon Jones suggests parents study the matrix and ask questions. It's very important that parents understand that um, so they can then hold the school accountable. The guidance also includes alternatives to suspension for some conduct. It is not necessarily to think that there are no consequences, but there are all alternative ways of doing that teaching and really building to make things right. So you can put a lot of things on paper, but it's all about practice. And DPS leaders went through some training this summer and today, and they tell me they will continue to make revisions to the discipline matrix as they go. This will serve as guidance for DPS administrators when they return to school on Monday. Live in Denver, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. A lot of parents have been waiting on this. Sorry, Jasmine, thank you. Jasmine covers the stories impacting your neighborhoods all over the city. Let her know what's going on. We hope you'll reach out through CBSColorado.com.